Yeah, I mean, I was at, I was right beside my wife during all of her um, giving birth, and actually, I wouldn't have changed that for the world. You know, I mean, everyone has sort of different views, but for me, it was a really special moment. And actually, I kind of saw Shara really grow as a, a lady. I suddenly thought, my gosh, she, now she's become a woman. You know, and it was a, it was a very moving moment. And you suddenly have this this bundle that is um, you'd instantly die for, and that's an extraordinary feeling. I was made, as being a dad made me more cautious, you know, I mean, it's difficult. My job is essentially quite full on and, and has a significant element of risk attached to it. I mean, the struggle in my life is the fact that I have a job that's dangerous, but I also have a family that mean the world to me. Um, but having said that, I'm very cautious with what I do, even though a lot of stuff is dangerous. I, I, I'm quite, um, I have a good instinct with a lot of this about where the real dangers are coming from at what time. But you've got to get it right every time. And that's always a kind of the unresolved whew, struggle, I suppose, for me. I really try and sort of protect my kids from all of my work, you know, and I think it's, <clears throat> I don't want them thinking, you know, dad's tough and all of that rubbish, you know, and it's sometimes hard for them in the playground. There's a bit of kind of, oh, your dad's tough, I bet he doesn't cry, do you cry, you know, and it uh, brings me out of sort of a muck sweat, the thought of that. So I really try and, Sort of, they don't watch the programs, and um, you know, try and sort of just say, "Listen, it's my job. That's my job." You know, I'm very normal at home, um, but it, they love all of this stuff, and that is irrepressible in them. And you know, they always want me to be building camps with them, building shelters, climbing trees, chasing worms, and eating worms around the garden. Yeah, and they love all of that. And half of me loves the fact that they love that. The other half thinks, "No, you, you're going to have a normal job. It's going to be okay." <laughs> How do I parent? Um, probably quite, quite cosy. Um, I try, try and be kind of strict when I need to be. Um, but it's very cosy and it's very close and, you know, we all have baths together and, you know, lots of picnics and, um, you know, I, I was really lucky. I had a dad, you know, who just, um, if I think of what's my memory of my dad, it's the fact that I was loved, really loved. And that might, you know, he always used to say in life, what matters is that you follow your dreams and you look after your friends. And that mattered much more to him than good school reports. And, you know, and I really try and sort of have the same values with my kids. You know, they really know they're loved, you know. And, um, and you know, as they get older, I'm really encouraging them to, you know, follow their dreams and go for things. And, you know, they're really enthusiastic, my kids. And I, I think that's an important thing in life as well. You know, not to be afraid, just to really go for things and, you know, Again, my dad used to say, be the most enthusiastic person you know and you won't go wrong. And I think there's, you know, I love seeing, in fact, my kids are so, so into so many different sort of, you know, projects and always dragging me off to try and climb this tree or get into this, you know, stream or whatever. I mean, I caught my eldest the other day hitting the, hitting the stream with a big stick. And I go, what are you doing? He goes, I'm trying to kill some fish, you know, and it's like, God, you know, no. <laughs>